WJCC has added three virtual learning days to the 2021-2022 school calendar. Virtual learning days are important for two reasons. First, the reduced school day gives teachers time to collaborate and work on professional learning. Second, it is an opportunity for students and teachers to practice remote learning tools and resources. October 1st is the division's first designated K-12 virtual learning day. Your students' schedule and activities will be school-based and vary by class. Student View will give more information for your students' stay and schedule. This video resource will show you how to access Student View on your student's device. This resource will help you learn how to log into your student's device, sign in to Student View, and join a live virtual Zoom meeting. We are also practicing these items at school. First, we will show you how to log into your student's school assigned device. Please note that the kindergarten tablet does not require a login. To log into your student's device, you will need login information. Student login for all students is the first letter of their first name, the first letter of their last name, and the last five digits of the student's 10-digit ID number. K2 passwords are the student's 10-digit ID number. If you do not know your student's 10-digit ID, contact the teacher. Third, fourth, and fifth grade passwords are made by using the following formula. First, the student's four-digit birthday, two numbers for the month, and two numbers for the day. Next, the school initials. Next, the student's favorite color. And last, one symbol. See the example on the slide for an, a password, as well as a reference point for the school initials. Now that your student is logged into their device, they need to sign into Student View. Student View is where you will access your child's schedule, Zoom meeting links, and other learning activities. If you have a kindergartner, they have a tablet. To access Student View, click the colorful swirling Student View icon. Your student's username and password may be filled in already. Click Login. If you have a first or second grade student, they have Chromebooks. Click the colorful swirling icon for student view at the bottom of the screen. Your student's username and password may already be filled in. Click login. If you have a third, fourth, or fifth grade student, they have laptops. Students use an internet browser to access student view. Students may use the browser called Chrome or Edge. From your school's website homepage, click the click links plus sign button. You will see it in orange. On the orange dropdown, click Student View. Enter your student's username and password and then click Login. Last, we will show you how to join a Zoom meeting. Zoom meetings are live meetings where students can see their teacher and talk to their classmates. On virtual learning days, students will have a Zoom class meeting and a Zoom lesson with their teacher. From the Student View home screen, click Show Upcoming to turn the button on and make sure the scheduled meetings are visible. Click Join to join the scheduled meeting. Teachers may refer students to the class website for some of their independent work activities or their center's lessons. Click class website. You will see your child's homeroom teacher's page. Using the dropdown, you can also access their center's teacher's pages. We hope this resource helps your students access the curriculum on the virtual learning day. If you have any immediate questions or concerns or difficulty during virtual learning, please contact your child's teacher. 
We welcome your feedback for how we can continue to improve and support this process as we continue the school year.